state of Michigan, rape insurance. What is rape insurance, you ask? Allow this awesome woman to explain to you why she's against it. I was in opposition to the so-called citizens initiative before us that would require Michigan women to pay for a separate insurance rider to cover abortions, regardless of... I can understand your moral indignation, but you've been had by feminist propaganda. This is not about rape insurance. This is about a rider on an insurance. It's saying that medical procedures for abortion should be separate from other medical procedures. Now, clearly the Republicans want to do this because they want the opportunity for the pro-right constituents that support them to have the opportunity not to have to pay for abortions for other people. Right or wrong, it's rational. It's not telling someone else what they can do with the body. What it's saying is, I don't want to have to pay for it. Now, it's a democracy. I understand that. But we do have a separation of church and state. We don't tell people what church they should go to. So the same is true in this instance. So you can at least look at it from, it's not unprecedented to say that we want to separate things. Your preferences from my preferences. It would be like telling you what restaurants you can go to or paying for restaurants that you don't believe in. The point is, even if it's not a good thing to do for some reason, it is not rape insurance. You can call it what you want, but if you call it rape insurance, you're simply creating a sensation. You're not actually being rational. And when you call someone a misogynist because they support this bill, you are not being rational. When you say this is Sharia law, you are not being rational. Be rational, and I'll listen to you. Be irrational, and I'll call you on it all day, every day. As a man, nothing bugs me more than a man telling a woman what to do with her own body. No way in hell would men allow women legislators to tell a man what to do with his dick and testicles. That's such a naive statement, I can't let it slide on its own. The fact of the matter is, the government does tell men what they can do with their testicles. It has to do with parenting. The government, as it stands right now, forces men to become parents or at least support in terms of child support, whether they want to have a part of that child's life or not. It's a woman's right to choose whether a child comes into this world. Men have no choice in that matter. By doing that, you're telling men that all they are is glorified sperm donors when they have sex with a woman and the woman chooses to have the child. This puts it in a very uneasy situation. And the fact that you don't realize this just shows how naive you are about this issue. And it's also why it's so easy for women to get you emotionally charged by it. It's called white knighting. There's a lot of research you need to do on the men's rights movement before you can make these sorts of statements in a rational way. Hey, you may disagree with my fundamental point, but it's clearly when you make statements like that, you've not done any thinking about the issue whatsoever. And I would definitely go back and check yourself on it because it is extremely wrong. Republicans. And this is not a word that I use very often, but these type of men are fucking misogynistic, cackling cunts. Women are being penalized for being a woman. And now women have to buy additional insurance on the off chance she may need or want an abortion. So if a woman is raped, she has to face the indignity of shelling out money to rid herself from her law. Here you are, starting in the USA. This is something that would happen within Sharia law. I am so f With a statement like that, you make extremists blush. Because that is so far out there. So far beyond reality that you need to be called on it. There, I did it again.